where do we start? And that's pretty much the model. And the funny thing about it is when you go private, people expect to pay more. They're happy doing that. And they take better care of your cars. Hey, bro, you going so crazy on this episode. Like risk management, how to make way more money than using Toro. Yep, we talked to, about how to buy the car. How to buy the car. We talked about some mistakes to avoid. Boy, yep. We talking about the OPP play other people's other people. properties. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Bro. I gave out all the game. It has to work where it has to work. All right, welcome to another episode of Circle of Greatness, man. As I keep telling y'all, I'm gonna keep bringing you masterclass after masterclass after masterclass. And today is gonna be no different. I had to bring my guy, Mike, the businessman on. Listen, my guy, my mastermind crushing it, but you hear so many people talk about Toro and all of this stuff, but he talks about the private car rental industry. And I'm like, bruh, I need you to really come break it down. Cause I made a lot of money renting out my Lamborghini. I made a lot of money renting out my Rolls Royce. He make a lot of money renting out all of his cars. And I never saw really many people online do it, how he's doing it. So I had to come bring him on the channel to come break down how to get in a private rental car industry and what to look out for so we can run that bag up. Mike, welcome to- My God, thank you Circle much. Greatness, yeah, bro. Appreciate it. I'm how glad doing, to be bro? here. I'm good, man. I'm blessed, man. Thank you for being I'm in the greatness mansion, man. man. You already <laughs> know, bro. Sheesh. I gotta ask, how did we- you was you in the mastermind. How did you initially find me, bro? Bro, I, I found you in mastermind. Miami, recession proof conference, bro. Okay. You okay. literally changed my life. You have no clue. Wow. You spoke to me for five minutes. I was thinking about leaving my corporate job. Yeah. And you convinced me. I told you I was scared. Right. And you were like, fear, don't use that word. Like yeah. you challenged me and told me to go make that move wow. and commit to entrepreneurship. Wow. And you, three years later, here I am. And you committed to that. 100 percent After that, that's my wife. Wow. <laughs> How long before you stopped after that conversation, bro? The second I got home, I put in my two weeks notice and the rest was history. I committed all the way. Bro, let me ask you, what what made you really say this is the time? Because there's a lot of people looking at this and I know you help people literally quit their jobs yeah. with the private rental car game yeah. and you help people just really essentially do the same thing, right. following your methods. But what was this exciting factor right there? Like you got a wife, like yeah. you got things going on. Like yeah. it could be scary, right? right? For me, when I got fired yeah. from my temp job, it was just like, bro, you got kicked out of high school, you got kicked out of college, you have been fired at 10 jobs. Ain't nothing else seemed to be working. I had to <laughs> My do it. Right, shit. right. But you could have said, bro, I'm going to stay another year. You went home and took massive action. Yep. I'm curious, what real, like, was the mindset? like? Because yeah. some people say I'm going to quit, but it may be a year, maybe six months, right. maybe two years. So. Yeah. It was two deciding factors for yeah. me. Number one, like you said, my family, right? Yeah. Like just to be able to provide for my family. But the biggest turning point for me was my job. I was up for a promotion, man. Mm. My boss, boss promised me a, a new position and a raise. Yeah. I got the position, but then all they gave me was a $2,000 raise. Wow. And that broke my heart, literally. So I'm like, yo, I ain't going to slave away in corporate America for the next 20 years, you know, making $2,000 every three, four years. So yeah. I knew I had to pivot, do something else. Wow. And the no most important thing too is my, my mom's. You know, mm. I needed to retire my mom. Mm. I just lost my dad. Wow. And so I knew like, yeah, I have to double down. Something's got to work. And just like you said, like I had to commit and you told me this in Miami, like commit. And if it's got to work, it's got to work. That's a mindset you need to have. Yeah. And that's exactly what I did. Wow, that's powerful, bro. Well, congratulations Appreciate bro, you. for committing, Appreciate you. giving it everything that you got because mm -hmm. it's a hard feat. Most people will never do it, but you did it. So yep. you are one of those top one percenters. So bro, why the private rental cars? Like I, yeah. I know you've been talking about it for a while. I, I see your fleet. You got Lamborghini trucks, you got cars, you got all type of yeah. stuff in the fleet. And yeah. you do it in a, or unorthodox way. Like most yeah. people talk about the Toros in the different ways, but you talk about a way where you make way more money, right. your cars protect it better. Yep. Like tell me why, like Mike, I'm thinking about getting in the game. Why, she, convince me of why I should even get in the game. Bro. All right, just to go back to the model I use, private rentals, pretty much what that means is we rent directly to customer. There's yeah. no middleman. Okay. And this has been going on forever. That's what your Avis is, your enterprises. That's what they all do, right? That's you go to the, the counter. That's what the big boys do, right? Yeah. Well, believe it or not, I took a page out of your book. Mm. You know how you talk about high ticket sales yeah. versus low ticket sales. Yeah. It's easier to sell 20. I could, I'd rather sell five people at $20 a pop to make 100 bucks than sell 100 people at a dollar. A, a dollar. Yeah. So for me, I'm like, okay, if I use these apps, I'm charging peanuts. Yeah. And they take up to 40% of my money. Yeah, they'd be like $49 a day. There you go. I don't know about you. I like keeping all of my coins. Yeah, I like so that too. So I figured if I charge more and I run direct to customer, I make a bigger bag quicker. Wow. And that's pretty much the model. And the funny thing about it is when you go private, 
People expect to pay more. They're happy doing that. And they take better care of your cars. It's funny when you say that, bro. It reminds me about a premium customer. Pretty much. Like when you got a premium customer, you 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 not only you respect. They're a different customer. You bro. attract a different customer. You, you, 100%. It's yeah. like when you get when you get the $49 customer sometimes, you know, let me beat this car up. Let yeah. me not treat it right. Yep. Like, but when I go rent a Lamborghini, when I go, I treat it like it's mine. There like, you go. I, wanna, I ain't trying to hit nothing. Like, I'm really trying to pay respect for it. And they just appreciate it to another level. And that's pretty easy. You just hit the nail on the head. You, yeah. you attract that VIP premium customer. Yeah. And not only that though, God, it's, you have to reciprocate too, right? So you also have to provide a premium experience yeah. and that keeps them coming back. Yeah. So see, the reason why I do private rentals is at the end of the day, I talk about data. That's what I teach my mentees. He who owns the data owns the business. Mm. These companies like Turo, they own the data. They got the customer's name, email address, and phone number. We don't have that. Wow. Turo has a business. All these guys on Turo don't have businesses. And that's Newsflash. why their valuation is up. It's going up. They're about to go IPO, right? There you go. That's why they could do that. The because people they got, hey, I have access to 10 million people. Hey, book a business. Name, number, email, where Boom. they live at, their credit card. Exactly. Mm. So that's why I have to set mine up because I'm thinking long term. If I ever need to exit this business, I can sell it. I just put my business online, biz by sell or whatever, and I can mm. sell my business, right? Wow. So you're, you're also, when you're training your clients, you're also training them how to be able to be exit ready. 100%. So it's not only, because you're essentially saying you can't exit, you it's harder to exit a Toro business. You don't have a business. Perfect example, there's a company out there called Hire Car. It's yeah. just as big as Turo, yeah. right? It's for people that want to target gig economy workers. Mm -hmm. Hire Car shocked the world in March. They announced bankruptcy. Wow. There's people that have been using Hire Car for years wow. and claim they had a business. You know what I'm saying? Luckily for them, last second, just last month, they got bought out by another company called Getaround. So imagine if that hadn't happened. That's the end of their business. That's why you need to go private, have your own book of business. Wow. So then you're not affected by stuff like that. So talk to me. Uh, I want to get started in the private rental game. When, am I going straight to exotics? Am I going straight to a Lamborghini? Am I yeah. going to an Escalade? Tell me, yeah. uh, where do we start? Yeah, good question. So I always tell people, take a step backwards. First things first, let's do it the right way the first time. Get an yeah. LLC. Mm -hmm. All right, get an LLC. That way we can use leverage. Yeah. All right, so now we're going to use leverage, use the bank's money mm -hmm. to get these vehicles. I ain't trying to break under my bread off on this stuff. All right, I use the bank's money. That's number one. Then number two, there's several niches you could get into, right? You could do the economy car play, luxury cars, exotics. People do slingshots, cargo van rentals. There's so many niches. So, so it's funny. I was under the... I was under the impression, yeah. right? Only because I look at your fleet. I haven't seen many of your smaller cars. I see the Lamborghinis. I, I got them. I em. see a lot of your big stuff. Yeah. So I never knew. Yeah. I thought when you're talking about this game, you're only telling people to get exotics, but actually oh, no. the private rental car game, you could, like you just broke down, yeah. cargo vans, economy, 100%. pick a niche. 100%. Like, yeah, 100%. Matter of fact, a lot of my mentees like doing the economy car play. Okay. The way I break it down for them, yeah. I got the economy car blueprint where I show you how you can make $1,000 per month net minimum per car. Tell me about that. So then. pretty somebody much, here's I want somebody, I'm challenging somebody on here. Okay. Like, I know you got a virtual event coming up, you break, yeah. but I'm one, I'm challenging you. Yeah. I want somebody to make some money before they even come to the virtual event that you got. Perfect. But I'm going to challenge you to actually go run the play, y'all. Yep. I see so many people <clears throat> getting results from my guy's information, but I need you to execute. So let me know if you're executing, y'all, in the comments. But go ahead. All right, perfect. So let's say, let's say, let's say you got a Toyota Camry sitting in your driveway right now collecting dust. Yeah. Here's what I want you guys to do. Go get that vehicle. Put some trackers in it, all right? I don't know if you know what a tracker is. Yeah, pretty talk, much a GPS it. tracker. Give me the master class. I'm gonna give you the play. So first off, I'm all about risk management. We gotta make sure your cars are safe. Okay. Let's not just get thirsty for bread yep. and have hand over the keys to a complete stranger. Yeah. Okay. Put some trackers in that vehicle. That way, if the car gets stolen, you can track it. You know where the vehicle's at. You can shut off the engine. All of that stuff. So we got to put trackers in there first, right? Once we've done that, get commercial insurance mm. on the car. There's a company out there called Lula, L-U-L-A, Lula.com. Insurance, insurance is Any only- Any recommendations on the tracker, certain companies? Yeah, I like Gold Star by Spirian. Okay. There's Advantage, there's so many of them, all right? You notes. There you go, there you go. No takers or money makers, so That's go right. ahead, there you go. I hope you guys are doing that too. I might start this with my daughter too. This she's, might be something. she's 17 right now. Boom. I'm trying to give her just, more things, but go ahead. Passive income, and so she's got a driver's license. Trackers, Gold Star. Get a second track. Thing, second thing is insurance with Lula Lula, Lula Insurance, okay. L-U-L-A, okay. all right? Once you've gotten your insurance, you're ready to go. Here's what I want you guys to do, and anybody could do this. 
Put your car on Facebook Marketplace. Mm, okay. Facebook Marketplace. Just put it on there. Say, yo, Toyota Camry for rent. Looking for long-term renters only. Weekly, monthly rentals, no daily rentals. Because I want to make this as passive as possible for you guys. All right? I, you, put, you tell them, you, you give Weekly, me... Weekly, monthly, only. Only. Perfect. I'm telling them minimum 250 per week. Uh, Three, a lot of my mentees do 350 a week. Wow. Neil, at 300 a week. That's twelve hundred dollars a month, bro. Hold on, hold, hold the thought. Yeah, just cause I I need you, bro. Just yesterday, right? I'm in Philly. No, two days ago, I'm in Philly. And I'm literally, and you might can help me do this. I'm literally in Philly, bro. My little cousin who used to work for me, yeah, he got a Model X, a Model Three, or something, there you go, Tesla, right? But he said I got it through Airbnb. I mean, excuse me, I got it through Uber, through mm -hmm. something else, right? Like, what you paying a month? There you go. He said, I'm paying $400 a week. Boom, there you go. For this car, $1,600 <laughs> a month. So I asked my guy, Doug, Doug got an X. Yeah. He said the note on the X, like 1,000 to 1,100. There you he go. said the note probably on the Model 3 might be like four or 500. Uh -huh. So they're charging my little cousin 400 a week. Yep. Yep. 16, so is that the same as a private car rental? That's that the really? same play. That's what he's running right there. See, there you go. There you so go. So I can go get me a Model 3 right now, $30,000 car. Charge somebody $300 yeah. a week. There you go. And how about I even do you one better? Ooh. I don't even like for my mentees to go that high. I don't want you to buy a $30,000 car. Okay. Keep it $10,000 or less. Ooh. I want it to wear like, if God forbid something happens to the car, it's nothing. You could bounce back easily, especially if it's your Ooh. first car. I don't want, it doesn't make sense buying a $30,000 economy car. Shh. I don't like that because I don't want you guys to get under on, in your cars. Okay. So get you a cheap car. Matter of fact, a lot of my economy cars, are like five thousand dollars, six thousand dollars, Neo. What model do you recommend? I'm getting Camrys, I'm getting Hondas, I'm getting Hyundai's. Just, I'm getting Ford Fusions. Mm. That way, in in four or five months, the car's paid off, Neo. Ooh. So I don't care. After I've made my bread, talk it's, that talk. It's man. house money. It's house money after that point. Mm. So I don't care what happens to the car. Wow. You know, and these cars will go forever. And they'll keep it. These renters don't want to see you any more than you want to see them. All you need to do is just check in on them every week, collect your payment, and just keep running the play. Guys. I, I got to pause the episode. Bro, the game that my man is spitting right now, I'm talking about, I'm sitting here taking copious notes. I'm thinking about, yo, can I start this for me? Do I start this for my daughter? Like, all I'm thinking about is my little cousin giving somebody $1,600 a month when he could be giving me $1,200 a month and the note might be $300. Or just me buying an economy car for five grand, making my money back in a few months. Nope. Yo, that's the play. My man is having a virtual event. And he's going to literally break down all of this step by step by step. What's the website you told me? It's rentalprofitschallenge.com. Rentalprofitschallenge.com. I'm going to have my mom get on this, my daughter get on this, and really come get this game, y'all, because I'm talking about this sounds almost more lucrative than, a, than real estate. Think about, and, and, and guys, I'm in real estate, but I'm just thinking about, he talking about a $1,000 minimum Yo. per car. Net. And on a $5,000, $10,000 car, you know how much it costs me to buy a building that can make me the same amount? Yep. It's better than Section 8 money. Rentalprofitschallenge.com. Hey, go to rentalprofitschallenge.com. Hey, but pause. Instagram. I promise y'all. Wait, wait, Told you wait, guys. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. You got to get to the episode. <laughs> Rental profit, Rental profit challenge com. What you got, man? You I, told, I told, I promised Instagram that I was coming to the Greatness Mansion, and I was going to... I was going to ambush Neo and see if I could ask you, bro, would you please be willing? Look, guys, I'm holding a five-day conference, y'all, and I'm going to give you guys all the information you guys need to launch your own successful six-figure car rental companies, right? I'm bringing all my heavy hitter friends, and guys, wouldn't y'all like to see Nehemiah Davis on, hit the stage and bless y'all with some sauce? Come on Come now, on. Neo, would you do me that favor? My mentor, my friend tour. And bless See, my stage. Listen, he in the mastermind. Y'all got to bless my guy. There you go. There listen, you go. I'm coming on. Just set it up with my team, but I'm going to come on and bless y'all. And if it's all right, I want to even add a little bit of event space play for it. Because it's like, imagine when you could park your whips outside of your event, event space. That's a no brainer. Just give them the, give them the double up. RentalProfitsChallenge.com, y'all. Hey, go there right now, y'all. But right now, we getting back into the episode. He ain't, I'm not letting him off the hook, Tell He give <laughs> us a lot more gems. Let's get back to the episode. Let's do it. You telling me, get the trackers, go get me the economy car. Yeah. Where do I find the economy car? Am I going to an auction? Am I going, like, tell me, where do I find these five? 
Is that also Craigslist or Facebook? Yeah, 100%. Yeah, Tell yes. me about where do I find these whips at, bro? Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, offer up okay. auctions. Go hit up auctions. Okay. However you can find one, okay. go get them and run the play, 100%. Okay. I got a question, though, because so many people, bro, they, they always talk about this concept of you need money to make money. And I, mm. and I, I personally, you could get your take, I think it's false. Yeah. I believe you need to be resourceful because I just thought about it. One of my best friends... When I thought about getting in this game, yeah, he had an Infinity QX, QX? yeah, yeah. six car, yeah, got gotcha. you, two door, okay. two door, okay, got gotcha. you, sitting in a garage for two years, nothing wrong with him. Mm -hmm. And I said, bro, let me take the car off your hands, let me go and list it on these sites, and we split the money. Is that is that even a thing? Hundred percent, no. So that's a joint venture play right there. Tell me about there that. you go. So in my program, I teach people like you could get started where you're at today if you have no cars, no cash, no credit. Don't let that stop you. Don't let that paralyze you. Perf case in point, no, car, no, cash, no, no credit. credit, the three C's, the, the C's right there, case in point, his buddy. So all you got to do is if you don't have the physical currency to get started, leverage your social currency. Y'all have friends, you have family members that you can, they have cars sitting in garages collecting wow. dust. You come with the knowledge and then they come with their vehicle and then you got to sign a joint venture agreement. Maybe you could split profits 50-50, 60-40 in your flavor, that's fine. Run the play, and then that's it. You make your money, he makes money. They have, and you just go keep finding more people to do this. Keep doing the same thing, exactly. I, it's funny. My assistant actually, Shade, they started. They, I think they got ten or fifteen cars in the yeah. fleet, all owned by somebody else. Newsflash, and, and they split the bread, mm -hmm. and they did a hundred and like fifty k in twenty twenty three. I believe that. Newsflash, Neo, eighty percent. Of and it's Toro way. They ain't even. Oh, they're not even doing private rentals. <clears throat> imagine if they did it your way. They would have made way more. Here's a newsflash, 50, 60 to 70% of the private car rental companies you see out there, the big rental companies you're used to, they don't own most of their cars. Mm. Majority of them are operating as joint ventures or brokers, what I call brokers. Mm. So pretty much they just create a website. So say you don't have any cars, you don't have good credit, right? Your credit's bad, you can't afford to go finance a vehicle. Here's what you could do, create a website, put up a bunch of cars on there, all right? But then go partner with car rental companies in your local area that maybe have those cars. Go shake some hands, kiss some babies, let them know who you are. Let them know you're the rental car plug, all right? Go let everybody in your city know. And then when somebody hits, visits your website, they see, say, you got a Camry on there or you got a, a BMW i8 and they want to rent that, they call you, you take the payment, all you're doing is connecting them with the rental company that owns it. Wow. And then they give you anywhere from a 20% commission or in my case, I give wholesale prices. All right, so I got people that could come, they rent my Lambo. Normally my Lambo is $1,400. Yep. I'll give it to them at a wholesale price of $1,000. So you're making $400 a day every time you rent out my Lambo as a broker. Wow. Yep. And all you're doing is the middleman. You're just the middleman. You're creating an Instagram talking about Miami rentals today. That's it. Dollars of rentals today. That's it. That's it. Posting some pictures, some car content. Yep. And it's up. You want to take it a step further? If, you're, if your marketing talk, game talk, is on point, talk to me. go do some SEO, search engine optimization, mm -hmm. right? For your website. Tell me what what that, that does is it's going to push your website up to the front page of Google. So imagine this, every city, your website is showing up front page of Google. I know people, I know brokers I have never met before a day in my life, Neo. They send me, they're responsible for almost 40 to 50% of my business, I get. I got brokers from all over the, they ran, they advertise in every major city. And when they get called leads, they call people like me, reputable car rental companies, and pass us the business. Wow. I had a, I had a deal. Crazy. I had my BMW i8, Neo. I, a guy rented it out for me December 2019. No, 2020. December 17, 2020. He rented, a broker sent me the business. This guy paid me $4,700 a week for a whole year. Came out to $178,000. Wow. That deal came off of a broker. Bro, I'm literally sitting here just thinking about my Lamborghinis. I'm about yeah. to create me a page. There you go. Greatness Rentals. There you go. I love the name. And but when you come, I'm just referring you to other people for their car. That's it. It's, it's similar to what we do with these houses. Like I refer yeah. houses to my guy. They refer them to me, and we we bust ten to twenty percent their way or my way. Hundred oh, percent. If if you know your boy has a black Lamborghini, all you got to do is go Google pictures for a black Lamborghini. Put that on your website. Somebody rents it. Go link them up with your boy. Bro, you know what's so crazy? I'm just sitting there thinking about. You talked about making four hundred dollars per car. Yeah. You just do that ten times a month, bro. That's it. Without owning a car, without having to have insurance, without having to have anything but a cell phone. Yeah. You talk about four thousand a month. You got no skin in the game. I know brokers that are making six figures in the Dallas area. 
If y'all want to know how powerful being a broker is, there's an episode, there's a channel on YouTube called Vice. There's an episode on there called The, the Finesse of the Miami Exotic Car Rental Game. Yeah. It's all about a broker. This kid doesn't own no cars, and he's making a killing. Y'all watch that episode, you know exactly how to do it. Run the play. Wow, bro. That's, I'm sitting here just, you just unlock like the economy car play. Yep. The broker play. Yep. Give me another, like you, where to buy the cars from. There you go. What else you got, bro? You, you All right, let's talk about, let's talk, stuff, let's talk about dreamers, right? There's people I call dreamers out there. Maybe you just want to drive your dream car. Mm -hmm. Maybe your dream car was always a Lamborghini yeah. and you can't really afford it. Guess what? You can go get that vehicle, rent it out just two to three days out of the month. Yeah. It pays the note and the rest is free. Mm -hmm. We take it a step further. As influencers, say your business, maybe you need a tax write-off. Go buy a car that weighs at least 6,000 pounds, okay? Because the IRS section 179 allows you to write off 100% of the vehicle. Well, it was as of last year. This year, it's 80%. Yeah. That's still a lot. So a lot of people, a lot of people on Instagram, you see them buying these expensive cars. They're not doing it to floss. There's a, there's a method to the madness. Mm. They're doing it for the tax write-off. Yeah. All right, so you go get those vehicles. You get the tax write-off. So say you're, you, were going, you made $500,000 for the year. Instead of paying Uncle Sam two, 300000 I'll go buy me a Lamborghini Urus for 200,000 bucks. Mm -hmm. So I don't have to pay that money to Uncle Sam. Mm -hmm. Then I'll go rent it out. So now I'm making money on that car every day. And then I'm gonna also use it on Instagram for lifestyle marketing and still make money that way. It's a three piece right there. Wow, that's fun. It's so many different ways. So many different ways. To do it. Yes, sir. It's, it's a lot of different ways. Yes, sir. I wanna talk about this, Mike, cause one thing, man, on, on our particular platform is like, we all talk about the successes, right? Yeah. I want to talk about some things to look out for when you get in this industry, like gotcha. ways to maybe protect your car yeah. and just, you know, some stuff to, that I can put in place to avoid. Maybe the accidents are, they happen. They right? always but, happen, right. What, there are some things, some due diligence that I could be doing with my clients and customers. So I, I'm, I'm not getting burned. You're not right. going to rob me. It's right. just certain things. Let's, like a tracker was one of those. Put a tracker yeah. in your car. So yeah. Let's talk about some mistakes that you may have ran across that you don't want any of our listeners to happen to them. Yeah, I think the biggest thing is to get caught up in the money, right? A lot of people, they get greedy, they get thirsty for the money, and they hand over their keys without properly vetting the customer. Yeah. All right, I call it KYC. Know your customer. Yeah. All right, before you hand over the keys, like for us... We do background checks. I want to know who you are. If your name's your real name, I want to verify your driver's license. So we take it a step further. That way, when I hand over my keys, I can go to sleep at night knowing my car's coming back safely. Mm. All right. So I always preach that I, I have a risk management background in corporate America. Yes. Plus, I understand insurance. I sold auto insurance before, so I'm big on risk management. You are you are cautious. You're I'm like very a, cautious. Uh, I don't know what your personality type yeah. is, but I remember when we in Dubai, bro, don't run. No, I told you that. <laughs> <laughs> I did. So you are I did. definitely yep. cautious. Yep, I'm risking. So talk to me. Yeah. Because there's someone here looking. They're afraid. They're cautious. So yeah. let's go. Let's Let's go over Mike's risk management management philosophy. Right. So pretty much, like I said, what you want to do is someone comes to rent a vehicle, run their background check, vet them out. All right. It's not about feelings. Like, nah, we trust, but we verify. Mm -hmm. All right. So like verify that. their information and then you can hand over the keys. Now, if you do that properly, everything's fine, because if anything happens, as long as you've dotted your I's and crossed your T's, insurance is going to pay. Bro, I ain't going to lie, Mike. I'm getting excited just about. I never really knew the game. Like, yeah. you know, I've rented out my Lamborghini multiple times. I rented out my Rolls Royce multiple times. But let me tell you how I do it. And maybe y'all do this too. Okay. We be doing it for just photo shoots. I gotcha. don't really let you drive my cars like that. Gotcha. They rent them. We rented it to Rick Ross. They gave me a call. That's how I know your stuff is so good. They gave me a call and they needed seven Rolls Royces. I found them five of the seven that he needed, all black Rolls Royces. We got like seven grand Sheesh. or eight grand between the five cars. Okay. And I ta I told all of them I got like a thousand each. Yeah. But I think I tapped on three to five hundred per car. Okay. So not only did I make the money for them using my Rolls Royce, I made an extra three to five hundred per Rose the there you four go. the the four other Rolls Royce that I found. There you go. Giving them five total, including mine. Yeah. So talk about do y'all do the photo shoot game? Hundred percent. That's the beautiful that thing about the luxury and exotic space, right? right. So yeah, so we let's get the luxury. How do we get in the luxury exotic space? Yeah. Like, I don't have all the money, Mike. I right. don't my credit. I'm working on it. Like, tell me how. I'm going to give you guys a bar. All right. So let me walk you guys through that. So 
First off, like I said, set up your LLC. Yeah. All right. Now there's a bank, a Bank of America. Bank of America is a very friendly car. They give good auto loans. All right. So they got what they call the Bank of America Small Business Auto Loan Program. Mm. All right. Tap into that with your LLC. For each LLC, Bank of America will approve you for at least four vehicles. Each LLC. Each LLC, you get whoa. four vehicles. Whoa, whoa. Yeah. Pause. Yeah. And that's still because I knew that was happening a couple years ago. It's that's still on. Still moving. It's still on. And each one will give you up to a hundred thousand. Whoa. Yeah, for each 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 up approval. So you can get essentially four hundred thousand dollars. What? Yeah. For four cars. You yes, sure? sir. Yes, sir. And then if you got multiple LLCs, now if you got a second one, that's eight cars. Mm -hmm. So that's the easiest way to get into the luxury and exotic space, what right? I need, what I need is that documentation or no doc loan or is this it's gonna be doc tax return? All they're gonna ask you for is your personal income and projected income. Mm -hmm. All right. If you're applying for a car, I believe it's over thirty-five or forty thousand. They will ask you for a pay stub. Got it. Yeah. Okay. So that's all they need. Super easy to apply for. That you get approved immediately. The funds are available within twenty-four to forty-eight hours. Wow. Right. So use that. Go get your luxury car. And just like you said, the beautiful thing about the premium, the luxury vehicles and exotics is, there's a diversified income stream. Not only are you doing daily rentals, you could do hourly rentals. You could do long-term rentals. You could do video shoots, photo shoots, things like that. So yeah, you can make a and then you charge more. So you make a bigger bag with those kinds of cars. Where do I go find the money for any of these type of cars? So yeah. I, yeah. So you just talked about BOA, which is yeah. powerful. Do y'all do anything with zero percent interest credit cards or? Oh, that's a good question. Like yeah. any of those type plays that? I'll give you guys one. All right, let's get a little spicier. All right, Key let's Bank. See. You throw, you throw, <laughs> you come on here. We, I know. I, I, I gotta pull the gems out of you. Jeez. Cause I, I know what you gonna do when somebody spend five whole days with you on your virtual conference. You, so I, I'm, I, I had you. You had to give them a taste. You, you got me giving out all the sauce, yeah, yeah, yo. Yeah, Come yeah. on, man. for you. Jeez. All right, I'll give it to you. This is for my inner circle cats, yo, but I'm going to give it to you guys. Okay. Key Bank is giving out a bag, all right? If you mm. guys are fortunate enough and there's a Key Bank in your state, yeah. go tap into a small size regional bank, all right? They've got these, they got perfect business um, products, all right? So if you have an LLC, Key Bank will give you a business credit card. They'll give you up to 50000 no doc. Whoa. No doc. Ooh, like however, that. however, you got to have decent credit. Okay. What's your credit score? Yeah. Oh, my credit score is 760. No, 783. Right oh, now. so you're perfect. Yeah. Well, you know, you got three. I, one is a 783. One is like a 760. Okay. Three. And I think one like a 740. So oh, you're perfect. Take the middle score. There you go. So you're perfect. They, they need... already got Key Bank from oh, years you got... ago. Okay. Yeah. So you have a relationship with them or you got a loan with them? I got a line of credit, a credit card. Oh, you I, already ran the play. Yeah, oh, I, yeah, I ran it. Okay, see, there you go. Yeah, no, I, so, I, he already ran the play. Yeah. If you have so it. That's how I know what you're saying is 100% accurate because with my partner who does real estate, he at least sent so many clients there, at least 10 million of funding yeah. went through just from what he sent. So I you know go. everything you're saying right now. Key Bank is spot. giving out a bag. Yup, yup. If That's one of the only banks I know. They'll give you 50K, no doc. So that's once great. you get, the, you go in there, you have to establish a relationship first with them though, right? Because you got to date the person first, right? So it's the same way with the banks. So I want you to go into a key bank and go apply for a business checking and a business savings, all right? Once you open that up, then you tell the relationship banker that you want to open up a business line of credit, all right? He's, all they're going to do is just take your LLC documentation and approve you for 50K. Mm. But you got to have at least a 680, 700 credit score. They don't want to see you've been out there dating too many people. So they're inquiry sensitive. They don't want to see you got a bunch of inquiries in the last year or so. And they don't want to see that you have a lot of open new accounts. Yeah. All right. If you've been applying for credit everywhere, they don't like that. Mm. All right. But if you meet that criteria, they'll give you 50K on the business line of credit. No questions asked. 0% no interest. Once you get the yes, the approval right there in the bank, apply for the business credit card also. Wow. Another 50K. Ooh. So I just gave y'all a two-piece. That's $100,000 y'all could get from Key Bank. And you gave them the BOA play. And I gave you the BOA play, $400,000. So I just gave y'all $600,000 that y'all can literally use to go buy your vehicle. That's crazy. Let me ask you this. What do you recommend? Um, how When you talk about the niches, how do you decide? Do I want to go with the exotic niche? Do I want to go with the cash car? Excuse me, the economy cars? Do I want to go with cargo vans? Do you base that on what you do on a daily basis? Yeah. Like who, how do you decide? Yeah. Because for me, I like the, I like the exotics because now I could just keep getting exotics for myself. For yeah. Free. Yeah. There you go. And, but that's a good question. It all depends on where you're at. Okay. okay. If you're in a, a city that can sustain the exotic market or the high luxury market, hundred percent run the plate, do it. Now say you're in Broken Bow, Oklahoma. That's touristy. That's out in the forest. People want Jeep Wranglers out there yeah. and buy those kinds of cars, right? So I always teach people about like 
choosing your niche, and then finding your avatar. By avatar, I mean your target audience. Okay. Who's around you, all right? Say you want to cater to, you want to do the economy car play. Yeah. You want to cater to gig economy workers, Uber drivers, DoorDash drivers. Next time you order Uber Eats, look at what kind of car they're driving. Go buy those types of vehicles. Mm. Next time you're in an Uber XL, what kind of vehicle are they driving? Yeah. Go buy stuff like that. That's kind of like how you decide your niche, all right? Look, at, look around you. See, I, I always cringe when people ask me, hey, Mike, what kind of car should I buy? Yeah. I don't know where you live at. Yeah, it depends. It all depends what on where you What works for me, then won't work for you. It might not work like for getting, the next cat. Getting yeah. five Lamborghinis in, in Philly, I don't recommend it. There you go. But Atlanta, I think you'll be fine. 100%. Miami, you'll be fine. 100%. Yeah. So that's, the, that's pretty much the way you look at it. It's all dependent on where you're at. Tell me about this. I guess this is almost a JB play. Carter, uh, he's in our mastermind yeah. and literally, and that's the power of being in the right room and getting yep. access to the right information. He went and bought a Lamborghini truck, yep. shipped it out to Dallas. You're sending money every month. Yep. That's just a whole nother photo shoots. That's just, is that the play you basically taught me you're about the JV deal? Pretty much. So Carter also, Carter he lives like in another country. So it really makes sense. For it him. makes a whole lot of sense. So Carter also used it also as a write-off. So yeah. Carter's brilliant. So he used the car, it weighs over 6,000 pounds, like we spoke about earlier. So he got the write-off and then also put the car to use now, using me making money every month passively for him by being rented out. So there you go. And he's also been able to use it for lifestyle marketing and shooting ads and all of that stuff. So, you, man, that was a beautiful play he ran. Yeah. Once you know the plays, bro. You just run them. I'm em. trying to think. My note on my on my yours, mm -hmm. I think it's 1800 Okay. or it's 2300 I don't remember my note. Yeah. I, if I really wanted to, I can make that every month easily. That's pretty much a one-day rental because yours rents in Dallas in my market rents for about 1300 to 1400 two-day minimum. That's it, two-day minimum. And then that's it, it pays for itself. But how do I protect myself right now? I want to go put my yours out on the streets. Yeah. What am I asking for at insurance? Like, how am I guaranteeing if something go wrong, yeah. it's going to get paid for? Like, tell me. There you go. I got a philosophy right now. Like, I let people borrow my car occasionally. Okay. But it's two things to borrow my car as a homie. You either got to have one. Okay. Because I know you're going to respect it. Right. Or the second thing is you got to be able to replace it in cash. I mean, if you bust this thing up, <laughs> I need the cash. Yeah, or, yeah, yeah. So, but what can I do to, like, tell me the protection route if right. I want to start putting this thing on the street. All right, so pretty much the way it works, right, as far as insurance, right, is if you have most of the commercial insurance companies, they've gotten out of the exotic car rental business. Mm. All right, a few years ago, cats in Miami and Vegas, they ruined it for everybody. These mm. guys got into business. They're making fast money. And the second things started going bad, they would literally go torch their warehouses and file insurance claims wow. on all the cars. Wow. And so a lot of the exotic car rental uh, insurance companies just dipped out. Okay, so unfortunately we're stuck, we don't have that, right? Now, if your car is less than 75,000, companies like Lula, I mentioned earlier, GMI Insurance, you can get insurance for those cars all day, every day. If you have a more expensive vehicle, what we do is a renter wants to rent a car, we need to ask them for their insurance policy. So the renter needs to have a full coverage insurance policy mm. because that insurance policy would transfer to any car they drive. That's good. Yeah, so like Neo, right now, if you were to travel to Dallas to come yeah. rent one of my cars, yeah. Your insurance on your Lambos will transfer to my Lambo. Mm. And so if anything happens to my You're car, covered. I'm covered. Mm. And that's pretty much the way we run the place. So whenever someone comes to rent from us, the first thing we're asking is, do you have a valid driver's license? Do you have valid full coverage insurance? If they say they do, text it to us. And then we actually call and verify. Wow. Yeah, so that's what my team does. And then that way, everything's good. So my, my insurance policy is $50,000. i am written a $150,000 car. Yeah. Do I need to call my insurance and increase? Increase the limits. There you go. You already know the play. So yeah, there you go. So you got it. That's where people mess up a lot. Yeah. So some states have very low limits. I know California's is $5,000. That's the minimum insurance property damage limit. So most people, even me, I'm guilty of that. Like when I go to go get an auto insurance policy, I always tell them, I want the cheapest thing you got. Yeah. And the cheapest thing might be a $5,000 property damage limit. Mm. So if you go around a Lambo that costs $200,000, if it gets totaled, all they're going to pay is a $5,000 check. Wow. So yeah, you definitely want to make sure that when they send you that insurance card, you get the customer on a three-way call with the insurance company yeah. and raise that joker up to two hundred, whatever the value of the car is that they're renting. Yeah. So if they're renting a $30,000 car, they need to raise it up to $30,000. Yeah. There you go. That's hey. the way it works. Yo, I got to stop the episode. Like, I, listen, it's too many new, like, I, you're probably like me. You're ready to go run and get this started right now. And he's given so much game on here where you're probably like someone like me. Now, I'm going to go try it without the coach 
and most likely you'll be probably one of the ones that take a, a beating on your head. So what I want you to do right now, stop the episode, pause for a second, go to rentalprofitschallenge.com. Join for a five-day virtual event where you're gonna learn all the tricks, all the secrets, all the things you need to help you get to that next level and do it right the first time. There's so many businesses that I personally started that I tried to figure it out by piecing some information together and every single time it ended up costing me more mistakes, more money, more time, more resources, and I don't want that for you. So despite how good this episode is, despite how nice my guy Mike is with the game and how he breaking it down, how he built this multi-million dollar fleet, still do it right, y'all. Hey, bro, you going so crazy on this episode. Like, you risk management, yeah. how to make way more money than using Toro. Yep, we talked to, about- How to buy the car. How to buy the car. We talked about some mistakes to avoid. Boy, yep. We talking about the OPP play, other people's other people. properties. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Bro. I gave out all the game. Hey, no, you didn't. I, yeah. this, you, bro, I, I saw you go to work. Yeah. I, I saw you at our mastermind. You oh. broke it down for them. And I felt like you talked about so much things that you didn't even talk about here. Yeah. But you're probably saving that for the five-day virtual 100%. conference. So what I want to do, bro, is I want people to be able to start consuming this information. But I want them to be able to join. So I appreciate you coming on Thank here. Thank you, Let sir. Let people know how they could tap in with this five-day virtual a conference you're doing, my brother. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. So you guys, follow me first on Instagram, at Mike underscore the businessman, and then go to the rentalprofitschallenge.com website, guys. That's where you guys can sign up for the five-day conference. And guys, I'm so excited because it just got bigger, y'all. It got way bigger. Now I have my man, Nehemiah Davis. Y'all have no idea. It's about to get crunk in there. So y'all, I'm super excited. So you guys get the tickets now and get platinum, y'all. Y'all get the platinum tickets, Thanks. not the GA, not the general admission. That's a that way, y'all can even get your questions in with my man. And Neo. <laughs> so only for platinum members. So guys, get your tickets today before they run out, y'all. Hey, rental profit. Rentalprofitschallenge.com. Yep. You're going crazy. Yeah. Make sure y'all go to the website, y'all. Listen to me. As always, one thing I promise y'all on our platform, no one will ever come on here and not give an immense amount of game that you can immediately go put into practice. One thing I'm asking you, this information only works if you use it. So I'm challenging you to go put it to work and go make it happen. We'll see you on the next episode. Let's go.